what's up and welcome back to Interpreting the Stars, where today I have the latest film starring Tom Hanks to talk about, which recently released on Apple TV+, Plus. but I'm only now getting around to it. It's Finch. So Finch ultimately tells the story that takes place at the end of the world after a solar flare destroyed the ozone layer and poisoned the world with radiation. Finch is basically just your run-of-the-mill scavenger trying to teach a robot how to take care of his dog for when worst comes to worst. When a giant two-week storm is approaching his home, he decides to take the robot and his dog across the country towards California in hopes to find a safer living situation. It, it's been a little while since I've actually watched a newer Tom Hanks film. I never watched his other Apple TV film, but now I feel like I should because this movie was actually pretty darn good. And it did a pretty great job showcasing Hanks' ability to act, especially when he has to convey fear. More than that, though, he often needs to utilize a number of particularly difficult emotions, such as the polar opposites between grief with contentment and joy. It just kind of goes to show me and remind me how much range Tom Hanks actually has and continues to use in his full extent over his entire career. Finch is actually heavily character-based, even though there's a ton of fantastic visuals going on in the forefront. Honestly, whoever worked on visuals and cinematography in this film deserves a big fat pat on the back for making this film feel authentic and real. I believe the mega storms that kept hitting. I believe the world was dead. I believe the ozone layer was definitely torn apart. I believe Jeff the robot was actually a real working animatronic character that followed Tom Hanks' character around rather than something that was put together in post through motion capture. I believed it all, and that was honestly a pretty big shock to me going in to see the film. I mean, if you need a few movies to compare this to, I would say that the beginning of the movie has some seriously strong I Am Legend vibes, but then I would say it kind of morphs a little bit into Bicentennial Man as Tom Hanks starts to teach this robot more and more things on how to act more human as they go on a really endearing yet exciting road trip. However, I did have the feeling pretty early on that the narrative of the film was going to be somewhat predictable, and it was. I could have guessed most of what happened in the movie, so that might negatively affect some viewer uh, experience. I personally had fun, regardless of it being predictable or not, because the connection Finch has between both Jeff the robot and his dog, it was all very relatable and real. You're talking about what feels like the last remaining good people in the world. All they have is each other. In general, I would definitely say it's a movie that I'd recommend. If you have Apple TV+, Plus. That's obviously the easiest way to watch it. I'm not entirely sure if it's available on anything else or not, and if it isn't, if it even will be later. I have no idea. I hope it does branch out, though, because more people need to be watching some of the stuff that comes out of Apple TV+, Plus. because honestly, a lot of it is quality stuff. With that being said, let's go ahead and break down my final score for a second. From a technical, unbiased perspective, this film goes pretty heavy on looking phenomenal, turning the world as we know it inside out and rebuilding it as this absolutely long dead planet. I found that to be remarkably realistic. I remember when they made I Am Legend, how it made news because they had to shut down an entire street in New York so that they could decorate it as post-apocalyptic, and then film on that street without anybody walking around. Yet, I never heard a thing about this movie, which makes me think that everything in this movie that looks dead looks dead because of the post-processing and CGI, which is just insane to me because it looks really real. This score is 90%. As for how I personally felt about the movie or my bias score, this is a little bit lower, but not by much. I definitely had a lot of fun with the movie and wouldn't mind owning it in some capacity. So I definitely consider it to be rewatchable, which is a big aspect of my bias score. Overall though, the bias score is 82%. Hey guys, just uh, editing this video and I realized I didn't actually say the final score, which actually amounted to 86%, 86 out of 100 possible stars, or a letter grade of A-. minus. If you guys saw it, let me know your thoughts on Finch in the comment section down below, and also, be sure to tell me your personal favorite Apple TV Plus film. As for YouTube, you guys know what to do, hit that like, subscribe button, and bell to be notified when I come up with the next review. And until then, peace out! Dave examines movies. We just watch for fun. Davey is the expert. He is the number one critic that I go to when I need.